Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Modern Warfare Zombies. Now, this might be a surprise, you guys, that I am recording another video of this, but with Black Ops 6 releasing today, by the time this video comes out, um, I wanted to look back at Modern Warfare Zombies because based comparing how I feel right now to how I felt when I recorded my initial video on Operation Deadbolt, I would say my opinion has of, of this game has changed quite a bit. So, as of right now, Season 6 is... It's been out for a while. All the content of this game has been out. So, I want to do a couple games of this and really talk about what I like, what I don't like, and how my thoughts have changed. So we're going to be to doing, also I've been camo gr grinding and I am not going to get the camo done before we're, um, before we're done, before, <laughs> I can't talk. We're not gonna get the camo grind done before Modern Warfare. My goodness, what's going on? I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna reset. I'm not gonna restart the video. We're not getting this camo grind done before Black Ops 6, but we can at least get the Modern Warfare 3 camo grind done, even though we still have a lot left to do for Modern Warfare 2. So, let me set up my first game, which we are going to be doing the, um, the Karambit. Um, first of all, let me switch over here to, um, Melee, Karambit, doesn't really matter. Just so we can go in the, to the Gunsmith. We got that done, we got that done, we got that. We need 10 special or elite kills with the Karambit. We're going to add that to Tract. And 36 Serpentinite camos. And you can see we have 35 out of 36. I was going to do this on stream, but never really got the chance. So I'm thinking now's the perfect time. So, um... I'm bringing in a a contraband karambit and the RGL just as um, a form of defense. We are just going to flat out go all in. We're going to bring a legendary ether tool. We're going to bring a tier 3 pack crystal. And then we're going to craft a raw Ethereum crystal and then that for the future. Um, I plan on doing two games for today's video. This first game is going to be getting um, um, Borealis, which I think that's what the Master Camo is called, Borealis. That sounds right. And then the second run is going to be... Um, is going to be... Um, us doing the entity boss fight because I think that is really cool and I want to do it. Um, let's see here. Um, we could bring, I don't want, I don't think we need necessarily, we necessarily need to bring really anything else. Um, like maybe we could bring in, um, I don't know. I, I think this is good for now. So we're gonna go in. We're going to get this final camo. We are going to maybe try to get our Exil streak up again because it's a bit low right now. We're at 89, I think, out of 100. And there's really simple reasons of why I'm not at 100 for the Exil streak. And that's, let's talk about one of the, probably what I consider to be the worst aspect of this game first. And that is the crashing. It's about like a coin flip of whether or not your game's gonna crash. I, I, it's gotten a little bit better since the COD HQ update, but um, I haven't really played too, too much. I haven't really crashed. I've gotten close to crashing, but like the game froze for like a few seconds, but it didn't end up crashing. It kind of saved itself. But what will happen is that you'll just be playing and then the servers will crash and then It'll boot you out, and then when you go back in, you'll lose your contraband weapons, you'll lose your, or not contraband, your um, insured slots for weapons, you'll lose 
all of the items that you had in your game, you'll go down a tier for your um, containment streak. You'll you lose your gas mask, your um, armor vest, your rut sack, everything. And it takes so long to get back up there, especially if you're wanting to do it all in one game. Getting enough money to get everything back as well as get the your exfil streak back up by doing more um, contracts. So, with that aside, like, I, I honestly, I think this game would be so much better if they could just figure out the crashing issues. Or at the very least, just make it so... Hold on, I'm gonna turn this... Uh, uh, just down just a smidge. I think it'd be a lot better if they can make it so, like, if the game crashes, then... You found some loot. Oh, I should run B Cola. That's my bad. Um, what should we do? Honestly, let's just go here and kill a bunch of the mimics. Um, I think the it would be a lot better if they made it so if you if you crash, then you keep all your stuff. And I know people will abuse that. But honestly, I would much rather have people abuse it than have it affect players who who don't deserve it. So, yeah. But other than that, I've grown to like this game a lot more with, like, every update. I think when I recorded my video, it was, like, Season 3 or something. Oh. Disciple. Hello. Oh, I just one-shot that guy. Kind of hard to hit the hellhounds. Um, but yeah, we'll kill all these mimics over here, and then what we can do is um, maybe I don't know if I want to end the game immediately, because what we could do is go around and do a bunch of contracts to try to get my streak up and then leave. But at the same time, I don't want this video to be too too long. Also, one thing that I should have mentioned at the start of the video that I forgot, um, if you are watching this, the day comes out, I am live. I'm live on Twitch, streaming Black Ops 6 Zombies. I'm flying to New Zealand, wink wink, and I will be playing the game a day early. It's going to be a lot of fun. Unfortunately, we're going to have people coming over to work on our roof again, but I'm hoping it won't be too loud and it won't take that much time compared to last week. Where's this last one at? I think it might be... Oh, hold on. There's a thing down there that I want. Um... There we go. So I hit that... Oh, go up, go up. Don't drown. Oh, there's another... Dis uh, I mean, I can just go over there later. I hit that. I hit that. So you would think it would be... Or honestly, I should just be able to hear it. Oh, it's right here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. So, just so I'm safe, I'm going to go up and kill that Disciple. Just in case he might despawn if I, once I activate the triangle. Hello. Oh, I can't reach him. There we go. And then we switch from here. Dude, I, another thing that I absolutely love about Modern Warfare 3 are the, the, the new attachments that they have, or what are they called, like the, the, like the Jack, um, special, I don't know what they're called, but like, they make the weapons, like, feel like completely new weapons when, when, when you use them, and they're not gonna be in Black Ops 6, which is disappointing. Oh my gosh, dude. 
It, it's so weird using melee weapons because your camera just zips around everywhere. So already that's three um enemies, three special enemies killed out of ten. I know I have to look at that at a weird angle. It's a really weird one. Stop throwing stuff at me. If I remember properly, it was like... It was like super weird. There we go. The Mimic! One, two... Two of them on the way. Three, that makes six total. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. There he is. Boom. Borealis unlocked. Huge. Huge. That is such a big accomplishment. And I'm not going to be able to get the other camo done, unfortunately. But I'm going to be working hard all evening to try to get it done. Or try to get as much done as possible. And honestly, like, I don't think I'm really ready to say goodbye to this game. Because, like, there's still a lot I want to do. I also went through the trouble of unlocking every single, um... What, what, what do you call them? Oh, dang! That's nice. Of unlocking every single schematic. And that was a lot of fun, too. There were some of them that were kind of a pain to unlock, but overall, I had a ton of fun with the schematic grind. And that's it's something that I would honestly do again if they ever brought this mode back. Although some leaks have come out, some come out saying that um, most likely we're not going to be seeing, like, other, um, different, like, ways of playing zombies other than round base for a while, which is disappointing. And they claim that's because of community, um, community, um, the harsh community reaction to, like, the new experimental modes. Which, the way I see it, if Treyarch wants to experiment with other modes other than round base on like other games for like vanguard or Mon modern warfare then that's great because um hold on let me get in here there we go because any information that they get during games that aren't their year they can use that to make the next black ops game even better oh boy I know riding in here is like a big risk, but oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Can I fit in here? Yes, I can. I know I could have stopped for that wonder fizz, but I don't want to risk it. Um, what else was added? Oh, shoot. I don't have a self res equipped. Shoot. Okay. What else was added in this game since the last video? Um, the unstable rift was added. Admittedly, I have not done that yet because the way that you get it is actually terrible. Oh, who's down? Where are they? Oh, um, they, they have a teammate on them, so. Oh, is that the same guy? That is the same guy. I don't know if I'm able to go there. Just in case, I'm going to buy um, Tombstone. Just so if something happens, I can at least get a lot of my rewards back. I don't think I can res them. I feel like I can try. I'm, I'm going to try. It might be a big mistake. Um, but yeah, the Unstable Rift is like a really hard 
Like, think of it as, like, a holdout objective, but you have to survive, like, extremely hard waves of zombies. Again, I've never done that. I feel like I should do it eventually, but... Let me chuck that over here. Doing this. Gotta throw that just to give them time to to go back. There we go. All, all all the time I go down and I have to ask people for help and like like just like the last game I played, I went down while trying to do an object an objective, and the storm just started to move, and there was only like three other teams left on the map. And I asked for help, and someone who was in the red zone came over and helped um, revive me. And they did not have to do that, because it would be a lot safer for them to go and leave. But they went out of their way to come and help me. And so I'm like, if, if people can help me when I'm stuck, then I don't really see any reason why I shouldn't help people, help other people when I have the chance. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm, 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 I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Let me switch. Oh, it's those same guys. I don't think I can get them. I, I kind of need to worry about my own safety right now. I'm sure someone else has them. Let me scoop. Um... I, I so regret not having to be pulled up. There's a disciple here. And there's still tier three zombies. Jeez. Well, if I melee, nope, it's not even my my melee weapon. Oh my gosh. Go out. Just grab it and go. Okay, good. Let me... Good. Okay. Let's run over here. So right now, our containment... I, I wish there was a way to easily check where your, what your containment level is at currently. Because right now, it should be um, 91. And then after beating this, it'll be... Dang, this is a two-shot for armored zombies. Fully upgraded. Well, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, th those might have been weaker. Yeah, that's definitely a two shot. Once I s just killed, must have been like tier two or something. Or maybe already damaged. Is there speed cooldown nearby? There's stamina up, which I have. I mean, I could run into the Wonder Fizz, but. Nah, yeah, I'll wait. I'm also gonna try not to spend a lot of money because they, I don't know if this was a thing that was added, um, that was added when I record the last video, but they made it so the more money you have when you exfil, the more your, your schematics will cool down. So if I come in with a lot of money, it could, I could get all my schematics to cool down. They also made it in season six to where they would cut all the schematic cooldown time in half and also make it so you don't need sigils to go into the regular Dark Aether, although you still need Elder Sigils for the Elder Dark Aether. And to my knowledge, that stuff is still in the game. Like, they have not removed it. And I... Sure hope they don't, because there's really no reason to, now that the season's over. Okay, let's come in here, just see if there's anything worth picking up. Put up some shmoneys. So that, so we're on 93, this will make it 95. Another mangler, good. 
over there. Okay. So we can do nice. So if we get three more contracts, we can leave. And overall, I would say this has been a very successful game so far. Okay. Sucks he's all the way back over there. Um, a, a weird thing about like recording and streaming this game is that it this is like this is a fun game to play. Like when you have like a YouTube video or a podcast in the background, or if you're on like a call with friends. But it's a really bad stream game because there's a lot of downtime. There's like four shots. So that. What else? I mean, uh, that might take a while. Let's do another bounty. I forgot. Was that 95 or 97? I've already forgotten where where we're at. There's a disciple nearby. Dude, the music and the sound effects in this game are so good. Oh shoot, someone just took that. Well, I guess we should do the cargo. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. Would it be worth doing a... I mean, I don't have an Elder Sigil. If I had an Elder Sigil, I would 100% do, like, the Tier 2 Dark Aether, because I've gotten really good at that. Um. But yeah, unfortunately, you can only get Elder Sigils from the regular Dark Aether. And those spawn rates are garbage. Like, it took me forever to get my first Elder Sigil. And luckily, like, the spawns for the Sigils are a lot... For the Elder Sigils are a lot better in the Elder Dark Aether. So I would just keep on getting more Elder Sigils. And as long as I don't end my Elder Dark Aether run without an Elder Sigil, I would be fine. But they make it so absurdly rare for no good reason. Oh my gosh, they're already shooting me. Oh. Okay, let me fully armor up. Okay. And then not to mention the 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 drops in the in the Elder Dark Aether. For the season one Elder they made it so one schematic is assigned to a certain um challenge so if you want the what was it i don't even remember what they were in the season one like the the ether blade you had to do a like a an escort mission i don't even think that's right but that's that's what, what you had to do. Like, they were all assigned to a specific contract. But from the season two and onward, they're all random. So you can go into a game with, um, and leave with all three schematics. What? Oh, oh I'm stupid. That's, that, 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 that wasn't mine. That wasn't even mine. I got bamboozled hard. Holy crap. Or you can enter the Elder Ether, Elder Dark Ether, and leave with nothing after doing all of the of the objectives. And that really just I don't know. Like, yeah, I had fun redoing them for the most part, but like some of them took forever to find. Like, there's I'm still seeing people do like stream almost every week trying to get the season five schematics because i guess they're so much rarer than the others um but for me when i my first run in the season five elder i got two of the three schematics and then i think it only took me like four or f like three or four more runs and before i got the last one so yeah and then there's also the red worm fight which honestly like it's a really good fight, especially if you have, like, half the lobby and they're doing it with you. It's, like, a lot of fun. But 
really? Like, I don't know. It, it can kind of be unfair if you're, like, not set up properly, obviously, but, like, if you go into the game with, like, um, golden armor plates and a, a VR-11 especially, like, that's just, it's not going to be an issue. Like, now if I go into a game and I'm properly set up, I can beat the Red Worm essentially every time. I'm not going to do it this game or this video because I'm not going to be properly set up on top of that. It's going to take forever because I have to wait until the storm starts, which will take like 40 minutes on its own. And that's not even thinking about like, oh, if the the game's in the or if the boss fight's going to be in a bad part of the map. Should I, do I just exfil and try again? It, it's really weird. It's really weird. So I'll save that for another day. I don't know. I, I want to do more zombie streams. I was considering, I was planning on doing some streams where I did every Dark Ether Easter egg um, before Black Ops 6, but I just never got the time between um, streaming other things and my new job. Which, in case you don't know, I have a new job now. I'm working Saturday, Sundays, and Mondays from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'm exhausted those days. But hey, I'm able to stream more often on the weekdays and for longer periods of time. Speaking of, follow me on Twitch because I'm going to be live back up at 6 today and tomorrow. Now, I'm going to be so disappointed if I wake up tomorrow morning and I'm not able to play because I did the New Zealand trick wrong. Which I, I feel like I should be fine. The game says um, one day until Black Ops 6 instead of two. Um, Just so we're sure that we're done, let's do one more contract. And then... Or is there anything quicker we could do? I'm trying to think. Um, probably not. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Let's just do this. And then we can exfil and then fight the, the entity. Which, I genuinely think that the entity boss fight is one of the best boss fights in all of Zombies. Like, it's... It's definitely top 10. I don't know about top 5. It might be top 5. Yeah, I might have to go through and rank all the boss fights. I'm not gonna promise I would do that for a video because last time I promised a ranking video, I did not follow through. Oopsie. Um, yo, PLA, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's go. This is like my, one of my go-to camo grinding spots. You get this. Outlast contract, you start it up, and then you kill zombies and manglers and disciples. Yeah, but, but for this, we're just going to complete it and then, yeah. We, we especially need to be careful since we don't have speed cola, so that's going to make... Uh, it's going to make reloading a lot more difficult. as well as manual armor plating. Which a lot of people criticize manual armor plating. I think it works in this game. I don't know how it's going to work in Black Ops 6. I feel like with Black Ops 6, for the most part, being like a more faster paced, close quarters game, I don't think manual armor plating is going to work nearly as well. And people were saying that manual that the old style of armor plating where you would run over the armor plates and would automatically repair itself. They were saying that was gonna be an augment, but hey, we got the list of augments and that wasn't one of them. So, oh, that might go down. No, I won't, I won't, no, I won't. Okay, keep going, slide. There we go. There we go. Bruh. Hey, rude. 
I'll actually take this for um a future. Oh, did, oh crap! Did I use it? I don't. I don't think I did. I don't know. I, I, I was just gonna say I was gonna use it for future um camo grinding. So let's just go to the redeploy drone, which again is right here, because I can only ping one at a time, and then we'll fly to the X-Fill, and then get ready for our second game, which will be the Entity boss fight. Because I don't feel good going into... I mean, I, I really don't feel good going into a game like this. Like, like this. But also, I want to use my, um, my Borealis camo on my RGL. Um, the main weapon I'm gonna, the main bullet weapon I'm, I'm gonna use for damage will be a Modern Warfare 2 weapon. If you've played this game, you probably know which one I'm talking about. It's the FR Advancer that's probably, like, the best bullet-based weapon in this game, unless they did some buffs and nerfs to other weapons that I just wasn't, I'm not aware about, but the FR Advancer is still good for me today, so... So that's what I use. <laughs> okay, so we're we're X filling with thirty eight thousand points. Oh crap! The the helicopter's gonna leave without me. Yeah, no, I think I forgot to wait and do it again. I will say. This game would have been super good. Wait, hold on. Can I get in? Oh, nice. I'm in. The game would have been really good with, um, 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 grapple hooks, like in, um, oh, the game's not taking me out. The game's not taking me out. Oh, it's going to fly me out of bounds. <laughs> oh, yep. Okay. Yep. We do have to do it again. Because usually my it would show a countdown and then my um my exfil streak would pop up. So yeah. We'll do it again. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the grapple hooks from Outbreak. I think that'll make this mode a lot better. Just because they're so fun to use. I'm a sucker for grappling hooks in video games. So yeah, I'm trying to think, what else has been added in this game? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Uh, I mean, there's more story missions. Some of the story missions are kind of whatever. The Dark Ethers are pretty solid for the most part. I think we got a few new Warlords, which I have beaten all of them. Um, Legacy is pretty solid. Dokabi um, is super annoying unless you have a Scorcher. Um, then there's, there's Ares and Rainmaker, which I always get mixed up. There's the one with the gas and the one that runs around in the, in the, the castle, not, not, it's not a castle, but like on the island right there. The one with the gas is actually awful. Unless you have like a Scorcher or an RGL or a Wonderwaf or something that can kill them without you needing to physically see them. And then the one on the island. There we go. Containment level 101. And then the one on the island is pretty solid. It's hard to get there, but once you're there, it's pretty engaging. And boom. Now we get 20% off a pack of punch prices, which we probably won't need because we are going in with crystals. I don't want this video to be too, too long, so I am going to bring in a bunch of stuff. I'm only going to get what's really necessary and then dip from there. Which I'm trying to think what would be the most necessary thing to bring. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Let's see. First of all, let me unequip, and then 
The conversion kits, that's what they're called. Yeah, the conversion kits are so good because they make the weapons feel like completely new weapons. There's some that turns like marksman rifles into dual wields. There's some that turn like LMGs into like SMGs. And like, they're so cool. And I hate that they're not coming back in Black Ops 6. Sorry, I couldn't remember the name. There it is. Um, can I... Can I bring it into... Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I'm so glad to have unlocked this. Okay. So, we're bringing you in. Um, hold on, let me... Okay, just making sure it's the one with the... Um... The one with the... <laughs> What's it called? The camo. I don't know why I'm so brain dead today. So, the weapon I want to bring in is... The FR Advancer. Um, yeah, there's really not much I can do with this right now. Um, so we will bring that in. Let me see how much I can take off. Eh, it's not really going to do stuff. Let me swap this for that. Let me swap. Just because I like making things like a lot easier for me. I'm gonna do that. Swap for this. Swap for that. Then we're going to bring in where is it? I know I saw it. Can't hide from me. The, then I, oh, the, duh, I just went right over it. Deadwire detonators. We're going to bring in golden armor plate. I'm going to start off with PhD flopper at the very end. We're going to bring in... Let's go... Grenade bandolier. And... We got deadwire detonators. We could do ether blades... Or mags of holding. Let's do mags of holding. Or honestly, we could probably just get rid of PhD and use ether blades instead. I I, I love ether blades. I never get to use them. Um, let's see. Let me unequip some stuff and just make more. I can't do that. Okay. Um. Is there anything? But I can destroy... I mean, I don't need a lot of these, like, lower ether tools. I mean, it would be nice. Probably destroy that sigil. Nah, I, th I think this is good for now. So we need to get perks and a bunch of other stuff. And here we go. So I know if you melee the pack punch machine, when you upgrade your weapon, it won't change the camo. And I'm, I thought I heard that works the same on um, weapons as well. Hold on, Kanye wants in. Hi, buddy. I heard it, it, it works the same on weapons when you use crystals. So I just need to find the pack punch machine, melee it, then I can put on the the what do you call it? The I use the crystal on the RGL. Hi, buddy. What's up, kitty cat? But well, I can at least use the ether tool and the dead wire detonators. Okay. There's also a second boss fight with the entity by doing like a side quest in the Elder Dark Ether which I don't know how to do. And even if I did, I don't have any Elder Sigils. I was considering trying to grind 
trying trying to grind some some dark ether rips to try to find an elder sigil but i also didn't want my first attempt at that boss fight to be here in this video so one of these days i'll beat it but it's not gonna be before bo6 comes out hi buddy just laying in my bed kanye the good boy okay so you you golden armor plate bandolier or grenade bandolier have i been calling it bandolier bandit that's my bad okay now we got legendary ether tool dead wire detonators and the closest pack machine is up top but i don't want to go away let's just go straight to to the middle um if we can find like a like a redeploy machine or a, or a, rede a redeploy drone or a, or a rift, that would be great. So our first priority does need to be perks. We could grab Deadshot on our way there, but I kind of want to get the essentials first. Let's all look at this, dude, that camo. So good. Oh shoot, this doesn't explode on. Eh, it does. But sometimes explode explodes on contact. Dude, I'm so happy to finally have this unlocked. Okay. Um So so, so yeah, yeah, this is exactly what I mean when I say I don't like the amount of downtime that there is because it's going to take forever for us to run all the way there, especially if I'm stopping for stuff like this, but hey, eh, no, we don't need that. So what we'll need to, we'll need to bring several self revives. Um, we'll need to bring, Honestly, with um, Grenade Bandolier, we could bring in um, Casimir's. Um, we could bring in... I would like a Jug Suit. Um, and then, I'm not really what sure what else we need to bring in. Hey, okay. Take out these sniper a holes before they get any ideas. Oh, thank you. Okay, now this is gonna be really hard because I have no perks. So we just gotta get to Oh, thanks. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta get the pack of punch as quick as possible. And by pack punch me perks. Yeah, I don't get to listen to these sound effects that much because I always have the music and sound effects turned... Not sound effects, but, like, the music and the cinematic music turned off because I'm usually playing this while I'm watching YouTube or talking to friends or something. Okay. Sometimes the Wonder Fizz likes to bug out. Okay. So there we, we go there. Let's figure out where the... The pack a punch machine is. Let's say I'm gonna need a lot of money for pack, but no, I do not. Um. First of all, let's grab that, and then we can hit the pack a punch right behind it. I just want to grab that. Oh, I will take that. I just want to grab that contract before anyone else can. Maybe I should have bought, um, stamina, but I don't know. What what I have now is good. Ooh, we could do another triangle. I, I, honestly, why not? After I do this, we can do another, we, we can do that triangle up there. Or, or actually, hold on. Before I even do that, let's just grab, pack a punch. And then we can 
do the triangles before anyone else gets to it. Because only one person per game can do each triangle. So like what I did with the mimics last game, I think only one person can do it. So let me melee you and then there we go. Nice. That's better. Okay. Let's go back up here. It's been a hot minute since I've done these triangles. So I might need a minute to remember how to do it. Can I shoot them? Yes, I can. That's one. That's two. That's three. I do not know what to tell you, Strike Team. Oh, mama! Okay. So, where can I go to see the triangle? Sometimes there's stuff in there. There's not. Um. Huh. This one's weird. What? Oh, oh, oh I see. Hold on. Now Kanye wants to leave. Bye, buddy. He's walking out. I'm just gonna... Oh, is it? No, hold on, let's... Might be up here? Oh, oh, I, I, I remember, it's up there, it's up there, it's up there. Because remember, I had to do that for... To unlock one of the Dark Ethers. Let's... I'm hoping there's not a time limit to when I shoot the symbols and when I need to come up here and do this. No, please. Uh, yes. Okay. This one, I remember not being too hard. There we go. Okay. These should be manglers, I think. Where are they? Maybe going down here might lure them for me. Or, or are these just normal zombies? I thought there were manglers here. Yeah, this might just be normal zombies. If I'm not seeing anything, it's out of the ordinary. But there's a mangler, but... I don't think that nuke is gonna help me. There we go. I mean, now, now the nuke is fine. Okay. Um, I know they're, um... Drop rate got nerfed hard, but I think it got like rebuffed to like because like before you would always get like a legendary ether tool and like a triple pa pack crystal, but then they nerfed it hard to where you would rarely get like like a blue ether tool. But then I think they did rebuff it. Oh yeah, so now it's either you get um either a rare or legendary ether tool. And then an either a double or triple pack crystal. Pack eradicator. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Sometimes I get curious. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to do that. Okay. Then hopefully soonish, we should have enough points. Yo, I might want to kill a Mega Bomb for fun. I'm at the point where I can do that now. 
And you do get a lot of points for killing Mega Bombs. Um, I don't want to stay here forever, so we can... As soon as I get, like, perks and... Like, score streaks and some more tacticals, I should be good. I might, I might want to take another look at a buy just to see what all is there. In case it can, like, remind me of something important. Oh my goodness. Yo, ray gun plans. Let's go. I'm not going to take it because I don't need it. I'll use that on this. So why not? Um, so we have three self reses, which might be enough. I want to say that would be enough. We can grab the Outlast contract and then the Wonder Fizz and get the rest of our perks. Okay. Run. Is there anything over here that's worth grabbing? I'm not seeing anything. Well, no, no crates over there. Shocking. Yo, I might be able to do another one up here. Another, um... I thought I was flying for a minute. Another triangle right here. I mean, it's there, but I don't see the thing. So someone else must have done that. Or maybe the player themselves are limited to one per match which honestly that would be a good way to balance it out so that one player who has like a scorcher or like a faster way to maneuver the map doesn't steal all of them before other players can so i guess that's fine let the other players have fun too i guess honestly i rarely do those triangles so i should do them more often because I'm getting a lot of good stuff from it. Um, okay. So, we're going to run in here. Crap. We will hit the Wonder Fizz real quick. Or, or, or let's, let's do this first. Let's do this first. There's no reason not to do this first. Because who knows? It could give us, like, perks for free. Oh! That's a whole weapon in there. What is that? That is a cast of 74U. Put your drone. Okay. You know, sometimes it's just really fun to just get, like, overpowered weapons and just do contracts in Tier 3. Honestly, finding a good ammo mod for, um, for my advancer might be good. I could have put Shatter Blast on it, but, uh, I don't know. Shatter Blast on the RGL makes so much more sense. If I see Deadwire, I'll replace... I, I don't know if, like, because, like, I know I do Deadwire damage with my RGL because of... The Deadwire Detonators. So I don't know if I have Deadwire on top of that if I do, like, bonus Deadwire damage. Yeah, I'm doing Deadwire damage. So, I don't know. Double Deadwire damage. Oh. Yeah. I do not have them to go on my desk. I like how my mom comes in, says, ignore me, and then immediately asks her a question. There's been a drill downstairs though. I'll probably tell her that. Hold on, I'm gonna mute and show at her and tell her that. Okay, I told her that. I know that because I took some to work the other day. In case I needed it. Because my body does not do well with physical activity. I will say, I do feel like the FR Advancer has gotten weaker 
like maybe on a recent update. I'm not really sure what they did to it. Okay, we can hit the Wonder Fizz and then the Bounty, but it looks like someone's on their way to that Bounty. I would say Wonder Fizz should be top priority right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to, yeah, these go in there. We can, honestly, real quick, I'll do everyone this favor. I'll grab this and then immediately cancel it. Because no one wants to do this one. Like, I, I have the means to do it right now. Like, I could do it, but I don't want to waste my time doing it. If I had a VR-11, I might. But I don't, so I won't. Oh, well, that was mine. Um, you, 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 you. Okay, that's all the perks. Um, oh, perfect. Grabbing this again. Maybe if I can get there first. Very nice. Let's do this real quick and then let's find the... Um, Let's find a buy station. Oh, there's stuff in here. Dude, no one ever goes in these buildings. Just because it's so risky to be here in general. So there's like a lot of stuff here that's worth looting. Oh. See this? Epic Ether tool. We got... I don't think the monkeys are worth taking. I think if I can find a... Ooh. That's worth taking. If I can find a Casimir, that'd be a lot better. Oh my goodness, see? We're, we're getting tons of stuff. J just by, by looting buildings. So, a good tip that I would say is that if you're in the tier 3 um, and you have, like, if you're already set up and you can risk it, I would highly encourage you just um loot some buildings. Because I can almost guarantee you that no one else is going to. Okay. I would really love it if this video could be under an hour and a half, so... This might be the... This should be the last, um, objective we do. It's also really good to have a high exfil streak, because... You're gonna, you're gonna get more points for doing these, um, contracts, so... This is worth 5,000 points. I have 14,000, so I should get 19,000. But I have 20,000. I don't know if killing those zombies might contribute it. I don't know. I think... I don't know. I think I'm good for now. I don't know those. I mean, how many do we have? Three? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have, like, a four. Like, replace... I can always come in tier 3 and grind more stuff. Okay, so the nearest buy station is... There's one right here, so let's go there. Also, um, depth perception is really good to have because it's a lot easier to see if any buildings have um, stuff that's worth looting. So, like, I can look in that building, see that there's no, like, ether crates or whatever they're called. I'm like, eh, it's not worth to comb through that in detail. Because, as you might have saw before, I saw a bunch of stuff through the walls, and I'm like, oh yeah, I would like to see what's in there. Nice. Okay. So, I would like to buy a... Uh, let's see here. Um... I want, I want a jug suit. And I want, um, what do you call it? I want Casimirs. Although, I don't think we need Casimirs. Because, like, I would say, like, eh, I mean, we don't need Casimirs, but it would be really good. I think jug a jug suit needs to be our top priority first. Dang. 
Hold on. That, that, that's a Strelope. Diary of Strelope in here? Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Okay. Since I'm picking the Jugsu, I might as well just use this right there. I'm gonna throw that over there. Kill the Mimic. Okay. Gear. Jug. Um, we are going to... We can drop that. I'll put something in there if I want to see. That might save me some money. Because if there's something there that I want or or that I need, another <laughs> epic ether tool. Dang. Let me... Okay. Nah, we're good. One. Two. Then we can... Hold... We can equip. I'm gonna hold this though. Um... I, I, think, I think that's fine for now. I say for now, but I'm about to go straight into the... The the story mission so I think we're good I feel prepared um, I've seen people go in with like five or six jug suits and the rest of it being self revs self revives but that's mostly for like the hard entity fight and we're just doing the regular one so I don't think we really need to do that Yeah, yeah, some of that's been looted. There are some crates hidden in some cheeky locations up here. Looks like they've all been looted. Okay, then. Let's get out of here. Hold on, just so I can see. Sigil activated. Okay, so they did remove... This is the first time I've looked at that. They did remove it where you could use... Where, where you don't have to use sigils to go in here. Because at the start of Season 6, they're like, Hey, zombie guys, since we don't have any new content for you, um, we're going to make it so that the, the cooldown for your schematics are cut in half and you don't need a sigil to go into the dark ether. But you do still need an elder sigil. So they had that, that was pretty good, pretty cool. But they, it does look like that they did remove not needing a sigil. So you now need a sigil to go into the dark ether. Which I guess is fine. <laughs> All right, so I have beaten this boss fight twice. So I, I, I do feel confident going in here. Oh shoot, um, can I just release a new blog? I'm sure how long I could sustain that rift. This is all very new to me. Oh, dang. Oh, new zombies info. I guess I'll read that after the recording. Because you guys will already know what it is, most likely. They did talk about whimsicals and how you earn those via x fills. Which I don't know why they're not implemented like in BO3 and 4. Referring to Gobblegum, by the way. Okay. Find a way to weaken the entity... We have to go to those lights and kill zombies around Ava. Oh, okay. That's for something else. Or, or that's for the 
the... I don't know. I, I know you use that to fight the harder entity fight in the actual Dark Aether. Right now we're just in the story mission. I don't know how I got here. But, but yeah, out of all of the different um, Dark Aethers in this game, like, 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 like you can say, oh, this is based off of this part of this Warzone map, and this is off of this, and like, I'm pretty sure this is still based off of a, a pre-existing map, but they made it feel really unique. Like, this is cool. Like, this is so cool. This one, I usually do first. I don't know how I got here wrong. Mm. Mm, shoot the void crystals. Um, a few more relics. There we go. Okay. Keep yapping. I need help. Okay. Now we get kills. Help charge up Ava. I'm also really excited for the story. I feel like the story of this game didn't really do much for me until the very end. I feel like how they ended the story. It has me intrigued now, and I'm really excited to see how it affects Liberty Falls going forward, because they made it clear that this is going to be more so for Liberty Falls. And I feel like a lot of people are going to see, like, this stuff and be like, Oh, Modern Warfare 3 zombies in Black Ops 6, why do they bring that back? Oh, blah, blah, blah. But it's like... I, I, the, the story that they're trying to tell, like, give them a chance to tell it, at least. Like, everyone says that the ending for this game is really good, and I agree. So, why is it bad that they're going to be bringing this back? I want you out of my life. I, I, I wish we knew more about Ava as a character. Like, I feel like we don't know enough about her. I've also kind of forgotten how to... It's been a hot minute since I've done the story mission. There's usually a jump pad right there in the Dark Aether, so... I, I do know where we need to go. It's over here. Um... Oh, let me... Don't mess up. Oh, okay, we're good. Let me just shoot all these right now. And I know there's an ammo crate over there, so. Good, and then. Right there. Screw off, buddy. And then, I don't know, both. I'll just go ahead and do that later. So, we're going to do this. We're going to get it, like, halfway charged up, and then the relics are kind of going to fly off, do their own thing, and then we have to grab them again. Come on, get up. Thank you. Good. Then the last one is up there, I think. Or it might be behind. Down there. Yeah, it is. Flop. Let me... Oh, shoot. Hang on. I, I thought it was starting. My bad. So, ammo crate. I do want to go up here because I know a lot of the, the stuff will... The artifacts will come up here when they disappear, so... Just trying to get ready. I don't know having the weird black spike. Uh, 
Any moment now. Yep. Okay. Got that. I can nah, I'll we'll just go around. If we can fly upwards, we're not really doing that. Oh boy. Dang it. Okay, we could snatch that one. How about I just monkey? Here. I want the ones I want something that goes up. I don't know if I need to reactivate it. Nope. Let's go. Oh, no ammo. Up oh, then reach that far. There we go. Okay, I, I thought I almost fell off. So I have died before because this jump didn't work. Or one of these jumps were like. I'm not. Oh, I actually don't know which jump it was. Because I remember I just hit the edge and I just. I jumped past where I was supposed to land, and I just died. I think they might have fixed it, or maybe it was in a different spot. Okay, there should be... Yep. Stop them. Good. Mimics, nice. We got that taken care of. I, I also like it how... Like, you're not in this last mission alone. You're fighting with Ravenov and, um, Ava. Okay. Hold on, just because it's more fun, I'm gonna do this. No crap. Okay. Because I've gotten pushed off from here before from those manglers. That's actually such a cool way to use that enemy in a different way. Because, like, you don't have to worry about them killing you directly, but you do have to worry about them, like, pushing you off. And I think that's super cool. I know in here, this is where you activate the second boss fight, but I'm not really from here. I'm not doing the story mission. Up, go in there. It doesn't look like it's glitched because I've had like runs where it's bugged out to where like the that green portal doesn't appear, and also other effects like the entities. Um, some of the entities' attacks won't load in, like the animation of it, but she can still hit you. There we go. I, I feel like I've gotten a lot better at, at that jump. And then watch me screw it up right here. And by right here, I mean later. There are other here. Powerful, ancient. Pop that crystal. There we go. And then just like using like buses and like all these crystals to jump. It, it, it's really fun. It's really fun. And like, yeah, you can kind of cheese if you have a scorcher, but that's not fun. Okay. I wonder if it's quicker to 
pop them this way. Yeah, it is. Oh, refill ammo. Thank you. Oh. Can I jump straight over there, or do I have to wait? I might have to wait. I'm doing it. No, I do not have to wait. Boing, boing, boing. Boing. Okay. This is the right path. And then... Obviously, I'm not going to know till I play it tomorrow. You guys will know by now, but people are saying that this is the same boat as Terminus. I would not know that since I have not played Terminus yet as of this recording. Okay, let's run it. Now we glide over here and we get ready to fight what I consider to be one of the best boss fights in all of Zombies. Again, I said this was for sure top 10, and it could be top 5, but I don't know. This is so cool. So... She has a bunch of orbs on her, and what you have to do is pop all the orbs while you avoid her beam attacks, which can pretty much insta-kill you, or, or at least take all of your armor away. Oh my gosh. So it's very important that you come in here with a bunch of self reses. So right there, I just did that much of her health. And you can, ju oh yeah, and then there's orbs that fly around that you can pop. And when you pop an orb, it um, spawns more on her body. So real quick, I'm just going to hang out over here for a bit. Kind of gather my bearings and um, kill any more orbs that are flying around. Okay, she's doing a blast attack. And when she does that... She'll do, it's like a wipe attack almost, but if you take care of all of her um, orbs before she does that, then she won't do it. Like, I wouldn't say it's a wipe attack because it doesn't always insta kill you. Sometimes it just takes all of your armor away, which could be a death sentence depending on your loadout. Go, good, good. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Got it. My farmer. Oh, come on, orbs. Orbs, 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 orbs. Oh my gosh. So many orbs. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes you need to use the um, environment around you to help block attacks. Huge. Are there more orbs flying? I'm not seeing any. Also, if you fall off the map like that, it'll automatically redeploy you. Oh, I'm just gonna chill in the air. Where? Okay, okay, she's right here. She's not gonna do that here. So let's just take her out, take her out, take her out. One more. No, okay, good. Kill all the, pop all the orbs. Two. Three. Good. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. that should have hit me. Um, I'm coming. I'm coming. Just narrowly dodged that. I swear, there's tons of moments in this where, like, you feel like you should have gotten hit, but you didn't for whatever reason. Oh, boy. One. Oh, okay. She just hit me briefly. I go finish her from over here. Come on. There we go. Okay, and she's dead. There we go. Good game. Now let's get our reward rift, and we're. I can't 
feel her, but she's still here. She's still here. What? And 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 then she comes back, and you have to fight her again, but she's a lot more difficult. Honestly, this is it's so cool. So now this one, she has like a dual laser attack. And this one's like even more deadly because I think that one can just straight up insta kill you. And then there's more special enemies. And then you have to shoot the... Oh. You, you, you have to fill up Ava. Um, you have to kill zombies from Ava in order to damage her. Oh, okay. Let me switch. Okay. So now she's stunned, and we have to pop all of the orbs before she can do her attack. Shoot her hands. And that. Oh my gosh. Is kind of weird. And that's one. Okay, and then kill the orbs that come out. Oh, there's so many. Oh no. Oh, okay. Actually, that 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 mimic just saved me. That mimic just saved me. Okay. Um, where is she? She's over here. Please don't shoot me in the air. Go up. Oh, crap. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm making this seem a lot easier than it is. Like, the only reason, like, I'm having such an easy time doing this is because I've done this a whole bunch. Oh, I should have grabbed more ammo. My bad. Uh oh. I don't know if I can do it in time. Got one. Got one. Crap! Okay, I got. I got rid of all my armor. I I couldn't. I couldn't get get the right angle. Where are those orbs? Two, three, okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she has sniped me from the sky before, so. Also, a big factor of this is the time limit. I have lost to the time limit before when I was trying to learn how this boss fight works. And when you're doing this in, like, the hard mode, I think you only get, like, 15 or 25 minutes to do this. I think it's only 15. Sometimes I do forget that the time limit is a important part. Go. Fly up. that up, up one Gosh. overhead that one that one up that one that one's so weird the ones on our shoulders are so wonky to hit I really hope we get more boss fights like this in Black Ops 6. Oh. Gonna try to save me. Uh-oh, we're good. Dude, those orbs are still out there. Hold on, let me get a minute to go just for cover. Where's Ava? Where's Ava? There! The orbs. Get them out of here. Gosh. 
I'm not even on the right island. I want to see if the orbs are gone. I think they're gone. Yeah, okay. Go! Focus fire on manglers. Let me hold on. Go, oh no. Like, I came to this fight super well prepared, but if you didn't have, like, an RGL or a very specific, like, weapon loadout, then I can imagine, like, this could be, like, super difficult. Oh, I think we got this. There we go! That's it! It's so cool! It's so cool! I love it so much! Dude! Dude, the, the lows in this game are pretty low, but the highs in this game are so high. Like, that's why I disagree with people saying that this game was just a complete failure. Mr. Peaks, we don't need that. That's for, uh, for the to unlock the Dark Ether. I can't hear her anymore. Mind is so quiet. We can celebrate back at Deadbolt HQ. This place is starting to unravel. Our bridge is gone. I can feel the dark ether starting to peel back from our dimension. We have to go now. Yep. Nope. Let's go. And I'll meet you on the other side. The end. Let's watch the cutscene. West Virginia. Ah, checking up on your daughter. This cutscene's so beautiful. I wanted to say hello. To ask uh, how you are doing. I'm on my best behavior. Promise. A uh, lot has happened. It has taken a while to uh, process it all. Process it all? Who are you and what have you done with Ravenov? <laughs> uh, so what are your plans? What is next for Dr. Jensen? You are checking up on me. Eva. <laughs> Chill out. I'm glad you called. I tried the whole vacation thing, I really did. But I needed to keep my mind occupied. I kept thinking about Miller's report. I'm visiting the site of the localized incursion she survived as a child. Liberty Falls is even more of a one-horse town than I'd suspected. One visit and you'll want to stay forever. So, people say that at the very beginning when you saw that shadow in the mirror, people were saying that was the Shadow Man. I don't think it would make any sense to bring the Shadow Man back. But I will say the resemblance is pretty close. So I'm not going to say that was the Shadow Man, but it, it, it looked pretty like, I, I don't really like it when people are like, Oh, does that mean the, the prim premise is coming back? Or the Dr. Monty is coming? Oh. It's like, no, they're, they're dead. They're not coming back. But you, you show me a figure that looks like the Shadow Man. I understand why people are saying it's a Shadow Man. So. 
overall, I think Modern Warfare Zombies is a good game. Like, I would even go as far to say that it's great. I really enjoy Modern Warfare Zombies. I love the gameplay. I love how you can just jump in and relax if you want, or if, or you can just, like, try hard and, like, go into all of the the Dark Aether rifts and the story missions in Tier 3. The only thing that I would say that brings this game, like, super down for me is, well, the the crashing issues and how there's, like, no compensation for for that at all. But other than that, I feel like Treyarch tried their best when it came to this game. And it sucks that they had to be pulled off yet another project in favor of... in favor of working on something else. I swear, if Activision needs to learn how to properly um they, they need to learn how to properly manage their studios because we keep getting like a game um and then they they pull support on it halfway through its life so that they can work on another game and then that game gets pulled halfway through its life and it's it's so frustrating especially when we know that like Treyarch can do amazing things with when they have time to do it um, and I know technically Treyarch didn't make that last entity fight. It was, um, Sledgehammer or High Moon, but still, I feel like the bases that they've built up were really solid. And it sucks that we probably won't see anything else like this because like, I love round based, um, but I also want to see what else um, people like Treyarch or wherever. I, I want to see what, what they can come up with. I want to see the mode innovate more and more. And that I guess that's not what the bigger zombies community wants. And it sucks. It sucks a lot. But... Hey, if they ever try to do an experimental mode like this again, I'll play it. I'll I'll enjoy it. Or I'll try to enjoy it. But overall, I think they did a great job with this game. Um, if you're interested in playing this yourself, I highly recommend you either buy one that's on sale or get a used copy. Because I feel like $70 for this is a bit too steep. But hey, after BO6 comes out and you're looking for something else, for like something different, but still zombies, I highly recommend this. So that's going to be it for my coverage of Modern Warfare Zombies. I had a lot of fun. When it comes to continuing the Playing Every Zombies Map series, I will be uploading some of my stream VODs where I'm going to be showing my first... I'm going to be uploading... Tomorrow will be my first reaction to Terminus, then my first reaction to Liberty Falls, and then we're going to do my first Easter egg completion of Terminus, first Easter egg completion of Liberty Falls. We're going to, and then like round 100 for Terminus, round 100 for Liberty Falls, and then maybe some Pokey Rogue in there in case like I don't get like the Easter eggs done or they're not salt by the time I have to go to work on Saturday. But yeah, when it comes to like making a dedicated playing every zombies map video i'm gonna wait until the bo6 dlc season is over just so i don't have to make two videos on each map like i did with um operation deadbolt um it makes it a lot easier for me and i can kind of just review the final product once it's all out and we're sure that no other content is going to release for the game so that's gonna be it for now reminder if you're watching this on the day it comes out i'm probably live on twitch if you're watching it the next day, I'm probably live on Twitch. If you're watching the day after that, then I'll be live on Twitch on Tuesday. Or maybe sometime this weekend if I'm up for it. Depends on how I feel after work. But for now, I'm going to get going. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time for my first playthrough of Black Ops 6 Zombies.
see ya.